have power. Today, we are going to use our fence power. I wonder what that means. What's fence power all about? Well, I don't know if you saw our last clip where Kid Power Kiwi got really good using his no thank you power. I was so proud of him. His turtle was getting a bit too close to Kid Power Kiwi's beak. Oh, we have we there. Can you see me? Yeah. <laughs> You're quite enjoying these sessions, aren't you? Okay, and here's our good friend Turtle. Hello, Turtle. Oh, really? Okay, okay. Cap Power Turtle wants you to know that he's really trying to remember about keeping his chunky little mouth to himself. And today we're doing the fence power. So could you two make a really good fence and show the children? It's a little bit hard, isn't it? But oh, turtle, that's a fantastic fence. You want to hold the, the sign up and show the children. Yes, just like that. Everybody out there make a fence? Let me see your fences. Fantastic fences. That's really good. And that's another way of saying, no thank you. And you can use the words no thank you to go with that. So, for instance, when you've got a friend who's a bit old oh dear, like turtle and fence, no, thank you. Fence up. That's right. And you can say, I said stop. He's going to hold his mouth really closed. Good job, turtle. All right. So, remember, no thank you power and fence power. Oh, good job. Kid Power Kiwi stood right up and moved away and is making a strong fence. Turtle, do you get the message? Yeah, you're going to help yourself to remember, aren't you? Okay, excellent. That's fence power. So remember, someone's forgetting when you say no thank you. You put your fence up and you can say I said stop. Bye for now.